Three, Ready? Two. You're such a jerk. Brittany Bourne Leach admits to being stressed out. Her house is on the market. In my opinion, she's using filters again to sell beauty products. We're going to talk about all of this and more. Our house is up for sale. That information is all over the internet by now. But can I just say that this filming angle that Brittany's using is so much better than the angle she used on the last video I made about her. Sometimes Brittany will angle the camera down and like film the lady part area. She does that a lot, but in this clip, she's not doing that. So I gotta give her points for changing up the camera angle. I know it's surprising, but hear me out. Okay, I'm about to go insane because I keep trying to film these stories and every time I go to upload them, they're black and all you can hear is my voice. You can't see anything. And I always wonder why influencers tell us things like this because if she didn't tell us this was happening, we wouldn't know. She could just leave that part out and just continue. Why do they tell us all the technical problems that they're having? It's weird, but hopefully this one goes through. Um, so most of you know that we bought some land uh, that we have talked about before to build a house on. We bought five acres specifically. Well, we actually happened to stumble upon a house in our area um, that is already on five acres. We just stumbled upon this house that has the exact acreage that we want. Um, okay, you already said that, get to the point. Influencers like to drag out what they're saying. Um, it's not a perfect house. It's I wouldn't build it exactly this way. However, I am up for the challenge of making it my own. I have been dying to do projects. If our house wasn't up for sale at this point, I would have already redone so much stuff, but it's kind of pointless right now to do that. Um, but the reason why I haven't really mentioned it is because it's all up in the air right now. We could at any moment like change our mind and just say, no, never mind. We're just gonna, you know, build. Um, any decision that you make in life is always up in the air, you know, until it's final. Because yeah, you can change your mind at any time or something could happen that's out of your control. The, the prices to build right now are insane, especially for the size house that we need for our family and with the builder that we wanna go with and the lumber prices and it's really expensive to build. And so this house is a really good deal for the house and the land already. But we don't know if it's gonna go through and we are <laughs> mentioned it because nothing is final. This is just what's going on. We're just, the market has changed. As soon as we put our house up for sale, the market kind of like changed. Um, and so. Yeah, she reduced the price of her house drastically. And I mean, pretty quickly too. So it makes me think they wanna get out of this house fast. And it also seems like they're afraid it just won't sell now because she just said the market has changed in her area. We don't know if our house is gonna sell. No one does. When you put your house on the market, no one knows if their house is going to sell. No one knows if they're gonna get the price they want for their house. I mean, that's typical for everyone who tries to sell a house. And we are just leaving it in God's hands right now. I am just praying that whatever plan he has for our family is what's gonna happen. So if we're supposed to stay in our house where we're at right now and then, you know, build if, you know, we're gonna move, but it's just not this house. If There's just so much all up in the air and I'm just such a control person that it drives. She's a control person? Huh, that's interesting. Drives me nuts, um, but I know that God knows better for our family and so we're just, we're just leaving it up to him and seeing what happens. I know you guys have probably seen Brittany's office. She shows it all the time. I think she just showed it yesterday on stories. But anyway, I was looking at this picture and hold on. How am I supposed to get behind the desk? Do you squeeze between the two desks or do you crawl under the desk? Does this even make sense? Brittany did a Q&A over on Instagram and someone said, what do you think about all this Instagram mom drama? Brittany said, I honestly have no idea what you're talking about because I choose to live under a rock and away from all the drama at all costs. There's an Instagram account who talks about social media drama, YouTube moms, influencers, and Brittany was caught viewing their stories. A viewer sent me this screenshot, and you guys know by now, Brittany has changed her profile picture, but I'm pretty sure this happened back in December because Brittany's viewing the screenshots of all the leaked DMs. 
all of this drama went down between Triple H, Tara, Aaron, that whole group. I have a video covering all of this. I will link it in the description box if you want to check it out. But Brittany is viewing all of these screenshots, all of these leaked DMs from Tara and Aaron's drama. But I thought she lives under a rock and had no clue about any of the Instagram drama. She left a comment on one of my Instagram posts just last week. Here's a screenshot of her comment. In that video, I talk about being distracted by her camera angle because she angled her camera down and filmed her lady part area. That's what I was referring to in my video. It had nothing to do with the birds and everything to do with the camera angle she was using. I received this message from a viewer. Please tell me you saw Brittany Born Leach's Instagram story about her wearing a filter while sharing to us about eyebrow stencils. She's clearly pre-recorded herself using a filter prior to posting it. Her filter comes and goes as she gets closer to the camera, demonstrating how she applies the stencil. I can't with these filters. Filters are fun, but when you constantly use it, it's like they rely on it so much. It's not authentic to me. Brittany's most recent YouTube video is on the left. It's from about 10 months ago. And her Instagram stories is on the right. And if you look at the top, it usually shows if they're wearing a filter or not. But it's very obvious that she is wearing a filter. So what influencers do is they record themselves wearing a filter, they save the stories, and then they can post it later. And when they post it later, the filter doesn't show. How deceiving is that? I snapped a screenshot of these two videos playing side by side so that we can look at them together. Do you guys think Brittany is wearing a filter in these Instagram stories? In my opinion, and just know that an opinion is not a fact, I think she's wearing a filter in these Instagram stories. And number one, it's deceiving to try to hide the fact that you're wearing a filter. And number two, you shouldn't be wearing a filter while trying to sell beauty products. I don't have a code or anything. I'm not like affiliated with them or I can reach out to them and see if I can get a code or something. I don't know, but I'm like really pleasantly surprised. And what do you know? She was able to get a code. Can you guys believe that? Come on. She probably had that code before she started filming these stories because who's going to go through all the time, all the effort to show this product and not make money off of it? That's not what influencers do. They need to make money off of the products they promote. In my opinion, that just came off so disingenuous. It really did. What do you think about influencers using filters to sell products on social media? For more videos on Brittany Born Leach, check out my playlist right here. And don't forget to check out some of my previous videos by clicking on these thumbnails. I'll see y'all tomorrow.